Oh, hello, it is Shush. Uh, and it is finally time to get on with our, our report from the haunting experience on 61. If this is a haunt. Oh, and it is Pepper. This is a haunt. The haunting experience on 61. This is a haunt that is on Highway 61, hence on 61 in Cottage Grove, Minnesota. It features a haunted hayride and haunted house attraction, as well as zombie paintball and a corn maze. They do, like a lot of these places, they have a, a regular uh, family fun farm during the day at this place, too. So, one of the uh, haunting experiences uh, claims to fame is that they're an old attraction. They've been doing this shtick for many years. And uh, Colin and Grandpa and Shush went last year and it was great. And we went this year and it was not so great, basically, is the story yeah. this year. We've got, we've got our first kind of negative review of the season. About the haunting experience, spirit spirit guy. What were your thoughts on the hayride this year? It's understaffed. That we just drove by some scenes. Like I think we just drove by the voodoo scene. Yes. And yeah. Now the understaffed. No, I think it was shorter. The track, the layout of the path was very different this year. I think they'd probably try to change it up every year, but there were scenes like the finale scene didn't have had one guy working in it, and it was not up to scratch yeah and that could be because we saw it on a wednesday night we went on the first night of this long week oh no oh no uh one of their cheap nights but you know when we went into the house and the house was a, almost as good as last year except for the slide being gone why did they even remove this slide? i don't know maybe, maybe again some crazy lady like this probably one of the same people who was like supporting the person who made the the peepers go off the shelves. They probably complained about having a slide in the haunted house. Uh, I don't know about that, but probably it could be that, or it could just be changing it up every year and having it be a little different. There were a lot of, still a lot of places where there was dangerous walking and shifting floors and so I, steps yeah, and stuff. Safety, yeah. yeah, I don't. If it was safety, then they would have to take out the the evil dead room, which is one of the best parts in that in their haunted house. Evil Dead Room with the tipping floor, like a funhouse floor, and the Necronomicon. Oh, it is a good, it is a good and, attraction. And, and the, it is and very the, good. Um, and and the person, the like the 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 um the the banging cellar thing. Yes. Oh well, the haunted house. I mean, haunted was, was the haunted house was way better. It it looks good. It doesn't translate well to video. If you look at video walkthroughs of their haunted house, and there are a couple online from a couple years ago. Uh, it's so dark and it doesn't really translate well, but it is a it is a good walk through. If you watch Mads Rad Show, he covers like the whole thing. Yes, Mads there. Mads Rad Show has has Mads good Rad. Mads. That's what I meant to say, and he has well he has good coverage of haunting experience and Dead End Hayride well, in Minnesota. The mausoleum, well, he maybe he couldn't. Maybe the his the light on in there was crazy low. You know, and but he, but his video of haunting experience doesn't look so great in the haunted house. It's not as good as it really is, or was that year. In any event, it was at we we came out of it feeling like it was a big disappointment. But the Freddy Krueger room was cool. Oh yeah, the old the Freddy Krueger with a with the uh, red with the red plane yeah, lasers. Yeah, we've seen three colors of it so far. Green and. There's green at um Valley Scare. Blue yes. and Valley Scare and Spirit. Right. And red and Haunt Experience. But having some other, I think some other attractions have had these effects in that, and maybe even in, definitely there was some green at uh, Scream Town in a couple of, yeah, I think so, at least one time. Where? I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to think specific now. It's been almost a month since we were at Scream Town. It's a long time. In any event, it was a big disappointment. Maybe it was in the alien maze, or it was probably the alien maze or the blood forest thing. The oak blood forest. Yeah. That's an excellent attraction in Screamtown. Excellent. excellent attraction. Yes, Colin and I are current Colin Spirit Guy and Grandpa are currently split on their favorite 
Halloween attraction so far this season. Grandpa rates Screamtown number one, and and Spirit Guy rates Dead End Hayride number one. Oh, Shoes Dead doesn't End know Hayride, it. It's excellent, and at Screamtown, two of the attractions are not so excellent, like the weird labyrinth where they just troll. It's a fun big troll. And yes. Corpse spawn was really weird. Too well, much corn. Too much. Too much. Too much is walking through corn. Mm. Corn, 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 spooky corn. We're not talking corn. about your harvest. Well, then we, you and I, you, uh, Grandpa and Spirit Guy and Shoes all agree that Valley Scare is number three, third place so far yeah. this year. And, and then, oh yeah, one thing about Corpse Run, it's practically just de Dark Harvest with aliens. Oh. Yeah, we don't know, but now... Uh, Tonight we're gonna tonight we're gonna be visiting Fright Farm with Isaiah, and we're gonna we're gonna make the review in the car. Probably, yeah, we're gonna do yeah. something like that, and then uh, and we still have Trail of Terror and some other attractions, the Lowry House, and others to go to. So we're gonna be doing more reviews, and we're gonna have a. But so far, we can't give our thumbs up to Haunting Experience this season. Next year, we're gonna try again for sure, because we liked it. We like we we thought it was a lot better last year, so. Uh, any other thoughts there, Spirit Guy, on Haunting Experience that you want to share with the people? Um, the gentle people of the internet. They still had the trailer thing, um, like the small... Oh, yeah, the, the, it looked like the zombie paintball sucked, and the little village at the end, like, like they took it out. That, and, that's, that, they put, remember the clown area at the beginning of the, the Hayride, the clown? Comedy? Yeah, that was, that's, that was bogus. No. They, and they, they literally just put all that stuff in the Hayride. Yeah, that was, I don't know, it was, yeah, I'm a little dis. well, that's because part of the reason this has happened with the Hayride being weak, I think, and everything being different, was this whole idea that you could have two punches on your ticket, and you could do either the Hayride twice, or the Haunted House twice, or you could go on the Haunted House first, and then the Hayride, and they just mucked it up. Yeah, like, you have to... You, you you have to get off you get off the hay right not the same place as last year. You have to walk all the way over to where you and yeah, first time and then go to the haunted house. Yeah, it was no. Wow. I don't know why they did you this. Had, you had like a story, and people were like, oh, I want to do the haunted house first. Yeah, or, or whatever. Well, in Dead End Hayride, they talk. Oh, we've got three attractions, but that's bogus. <laughs> It's one attraction that you one that you stagger in two spots for. Yeah, it's not, you know, you you can't do the hayride. And you, I mean, we could have we could have done the second part of the walkthrough again when we got to the end if we wanted to. Oh, it is Kong! Oh, Kong, Kong! That is scarier than anything on the hayride. I didn't experience this year. I'm sorry, it's sad. Didn't experience. Oh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, well, you know what I meant. The haunting experience on, on oh, the hair ride. The haunting experience on 61. We got to give it a mixed review this season. Yeah. Okay, Kong. Okay, spirit guy. Now, this is, uh, this is Shoes. I'm going to be signing off. And, uh, and so we'll see you again at the next review for Fright Farm. See you later, gators. Ah!